is 11.30 p.m. Definitely soaking up in this bath for the one last time. Still packing. Crazy amount of stuff. Debating whether I should take Mr. Beckham with me. But yeah. Last night in Hong Kong. Okay, bye. Half of my luggage are already downstairs. Okay, downsize to just these bags. The airport is in basically entirely in shutdown. One lounge is open. That is where I'm heading. It was a journey to check in those additional bags and get charged insane amounts, which I did not anticipate. Yes. I am very, very stupid. Also, it's definitely not in, written in fine print, clearly on Cathay's site. So I thought I was gonna get charged by piece instead of by weight. Either way, it was twice as expensive as my air ticket. So that was impossible. So I then had to pay in miles and I basically gave up on my miles. So let's not talk about that. The good thing is, everything is sorted. I am ready to fly. Fingers crossed, nothing else happens. All right, talk to you guys later. Going to the lounge now. You know, I kind of thought about checking out the duty free, but uh, thank you for saving me money because everything's closed. Goggles. This is just actually blue light um, glasses, just in case, you know. And uh, I am at the lounge. This is actually not Cafe Lounge because you know what? The Cafe Lounge, you have to go all the way to the center to go. Your gate, so you have to go all the way to the center again, come downstairs and go all the way. Got my own kiwi and some food. Just gonna take a quick bite, no more time, boarding soon. Some people showing up. It's already past our boarding time, but they haven't um, called us. So, waiting. Just arrived. Looks like some businesses are open actually. I just went to the bathroom to freshen up and tie my hair up because it's gonna be hot and I'll be moving a lot of luggages. So best to be prepared. And here we go. I am so lucky to have help. <laughs> Hong Kong was okay and then this week somehow it's worse. Oh. Yeah. So were they, uh, are they still wearing masks or? Yeah, everyone's wearing masks. Like still wearing masks. Yeah. Like the second week of it? Yes! I am finally home! 
Ah, uh, gosh, I need to take a break and breathe. It's been a rough day to say the least and uh, I just have too much stuff, too much stuff, too much stuff. Did I say I have too much stuff? Anyways, I am finally settled in my new home. Well, not settled in, but I finally came in and uh, this is where I'm gonna be locked up for the next 14 days and I'm gonna unpack now. Good morning. It is Monday morning. It's 9 something a.m. and yes, I am at my new home. It is still very raw and uh, let's take a look. This is kitchen, upstairs, my office, laundry, of course, living room, TV. So there's major decoration needed. And this side closet still doing my thing. So I just want to quickly catch you guys up on what happened over the past weekend. All right, basically, I landed Friday so I flew from Hong Kong at 11 a.m. There was a like a whole thing about my luggage because I had six weighing over 111 kilos. And uh, yeah, it's insane. I need coffee. Hold on, give me one second. Hmm. Anyways, yum. Ember mug. Cheers. landed in oh that's a makeshift chair standing chair um because i'm waiting for my bar stool to be here so that i can sit high just like when i was in the hong kong office anyways landed early ahead of schedule in singapore um it was very fast but then somehow my health declaration didn't go through maybe because i'm on ipa so then um they redid my health declaration and then you meet the immigration officer and then that was really fast you get my luggage two trolleys of course and i mean i love singapore already because there were a bunch of staff at the luggage um area and Package delivery. Hold on. Oh, I think it's um ice. I'll tell you about it later. There we go. Um, anyways, keep going before he shows up. He'll just drop it off at the door, so I don't need to really do anything immediately. So yeah, it's two trolleys, and I definitely couldn't manage myself. Um, the people there were so kind two guys helping out and one guy helped me push one of the carts all the way to the taxi stand so and i was like like do i need to pay you he's like no 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 don't pay me like they were so nice i love singapore anyways went to taxi stand they were helping me call a seven seater because duh i have six luggages and there weren't any because business is bad not many people landing in, in the airport first and foremost and second not many people are allowed to take a taxi only people from 10, 10 cities and uh, countries are able to for example hong kong where i came from or taiwan um so then the decision was made that i had to take two taxis yep but it ended up being the same bill as um paying for a seven seater anyway similar so all right this is the package let me uh Take it. Yay, it is fresh ice delivered by my realtor because my fridge isn't working. I'm getting to it with my story. But first and foremost, I need to stock these. I need to sanitize these actually. And then I'm gonna put it in the fridge and uh, probably can't manage with a camera on my hand. So I'll see you guys later, but um, they just leave it at the door. I left a paper, like a sign 
I, I wrote a sign uh, and tape it on the door saying please leave package by the door and uh, I'll pick it up later so that we we're, there's no human contact whatsoever. Yeah, two taxis. I know. And uh, it took a while to get to my place. So I, I remotely signed a lease for my new apartment after virtual viewing. I was just really, really happy with the place. And I was really um, aiming for a duplex, a loft unit uh, with lots of windows, open space, modern feel, bright. So this pretty much checks all the boxes. I got a really good deal. I snatched it in a day after I seen uh, after I seen the the, the listing. Uh, the only thing is, this is not super high floor, so got to here. Um, realtor guided me to my room in a distance, so finally came in. So happy, so happy. Started unpacking, and then I realized my batteries, uh, my phone batteries were out, so I had to charge it, and then I realized the plugs don't have any electricity. So I went to the electric, um, the circuit thing, contacted my realtor, and then in the end, we figured out it's because of the fridge. Hi, fridge. Yep, very nice fridge. I love how it's side-by-side -side door and uh, white. It's killing the circuits. There's something inside, according to the realtor, short-circuited. So once we turn this on, everything else goes out. And therefore, we had to shut the fridge, everything back on, all good. Now, what do we do with the fridge? Because I don't like takeout food at all. I want to cook. I also have a lot of um, food with me as well as ordering a lot of groceries. So fridge is important for me. And uh, so she had to order dry ice and um, yeah, this whole thing. So that was a lot of time for me and I unpacked some of the essentials, settle in and uh, try to relax a little bit because it was just a, a really tough, rough and exhausting day. But also I was on cloud nine to finally land and be here. Gosh, my muscles were sore and next day, Saturday, woke up very early so now every day i'm probably gonna wake up fairly early because every day i mean like the sun rises pretty early here feels like at least and then the curtains are obviously bright look yeah and also there's birds chirping outside which is so nice so they wake me up at seven every day it's been three days so far. I am not complaining. I love it. I just need to go to bed earlier. So wake up, do, um, I'm packing, and groceries finally here, finally have laundry detergent. Did so much laundry, still doing laundry, and uh, put stuff into place, set up my, like buy some internet, data so that i can survive and work most importantly and uh yeah cook my first meal here which was lovely brussels sprouts of course um what else yeah that's pretty much it set up my table right there and went to bed late again and that was saturday sunday same thing had to I completely unpacked on Sunday, put everything, almost everything, there's like a little bit there near the closet, almost everything into its place. At least they're, they're not on the surface, so you can't really see them, so the space is very empty and clean. And did work, obviously, because I need to prepare for a whole week of facilitation uh, and more. I have like seven straight working days of uh, facilitation and uh cook some more meals love it and that's pretty much it today is monday going to be very busy so just wanted to quickly catch you guys up before i start working at my office 
and then uh, I will be talking to you guys fairly so soon. <sighs> Gosh, still need more coffee. Just cooked myself some breakfast, lunch. Quickly eat before kicking off with class today. And whoa, my first rainstorm here. Hello, it is Monday night. Finished my work day and just chilling at home. Made more groceries order earlier. And basically just sat on this couch. I mean, laid down on this couch for like an hour to just relax and chill, which I haven't done in many days. And I was so busy just standing, moving around, carrying stuff, cleaning stuff, packing, unpacking, and uh, my body is exhausted. It still hasn't recovered fully. So it was so nice to just chill on the couch for a bit. And uh, yeah, just wanted to check in with you guys. Plan is sleep early today because I didn't really sleep well last night for some reason. And yeah, still waiting for ice delivery tonight to keep my fridge cool. Ay ay ay. And new fridge is coming on Thursday. Unfortunately, it's stainless steel, so silver color. It's no longer white. I really love this uh, white color. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss you. Okay. Tomorrow, same thing. Got a class in the afternoon. And uh, yeah. Well, hello. So, just taking a quick break in between my facilitation and next meeting, which is starting in five minutes wanted to check in with you guys because Tuesday was yesterday today is Wednesday this is pretty much end of Wednesday uh, yesterday I was too busy so I couldn't film anything and, uh, yeah I was exhausted I had to in between meetings cook meals for myself and just um, also shower get ready for bed uh, take up ice, restock my refrigerator, dealing with the, the, the water that's accumulating in the fridge. Whole thing. Anyways, I just cooked up my dinner. I've been eating so healthy. It's insane. I love it. And today, I also want to share an exciting thing. This little friend arrived yesterday. Hold on. Let me show you guys. Yeah, I got a cleaning robot. So I'm hoping that I will have time to actually set it up today. I think I will. Whoa, hey baby. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna unbox it a little bit more. Uh, so I'm supposed to peel it off. But let's take it out first. Okay. Ha! Oh, that's the mop. Oh, this wheel is interesting. I do not know. Oh, okay. So I feel it. It retracts. So there's the mop. There's more mop, I believe. And there should be a charging port. Yep. There we go. So out this is empty this one oh. okay this is the charging port planning to put it underneath my office desk chargers chargers what are these ah yes Sweepers. Okay. Okay, here we go. Our more sweepers here. User manual. Charger. 
or maybe not. Don't know what that is. This is the charger. Okie, going to read the manual, learn about this, set this thing up. Okay, follow this guide. This beauty is charging right now. Apparently I need to charge it more than five hours. So not much else I can do now other than reading. Download the app, play with it. Okay, just got my new monitor, my new fridge. There's a million stickers I need to take off before I turn this thing on. I need to race because my food is going bad. My veggies, my eggs, and there's fresh meat just got delivered. So catch you guys up later on what happened today. It's been a crazy day. But yeah, new fridge. Yay! Hey you guys, it is Friday afternoon, 6.27 p.m. Just finished my work week. It's not done. I'm gonna work on weekends too. Unfortunately, this weekend is a little bit intense, but I am sorely exhausted. I don't say that much, very often at all. Um, but I am actually very sore from all the moving and cleaning and just quite physical and also standing all day for, uh, ooh, the sun, for my work and uh, new fridge. Yeah, let's check out the new fridge. Here it is. It arrived yesterday. I am so happy now. This is part of the fridge. It's supposed to go inside. I just haven't put them in. This is cool. It's touch screen. Oh, there we go. And I'm so happy I filled it with food. Oh my gosh. Today has been too sunny for my liking. I shut the curtains next to the door earlier. The sunshine was coming through and it was just like, I, I feel like I was getting a sunburn over my blinds. Crazy Singapore weather. Okay, so. This week, very busy every day, full day, like five hours straight teaching. And then the rest of the few hours, um, prep work, other meetings, and then there's night calls. And on top of that, I was dealing with ice switching in the fridge, in the old fridge, which takes like, like every day, at least 30 minutes to deal with because there's a lot of water leaking situation going on. There was just not a lot of good solution and then what else um, cooking takes a lot of time also not having a proper fridge or all of my like containers and stuff so that was a time killer too and uh, yeah so I did not really have much time to do anything else or rest at all this week so I'm so looking forward to the weekend where I can breathe and I also need to do a lot of prep work for next Monday and Tuesday when I'm teaching again. But psychologically, my stress level is much less now, so that's good. And uh, yeah, that's my first official week in quarantine working in my home. Um, over, I have, according to that app, seven more days to go. And uh, looking forward to the day I can finally be out. And good news, my 14 boxes of my life belongings arrived in Singapore super fast and they're ready for delivery any minute. I just can't receive them yet because I am in quarantine. They can't come in. It's just whole thing. So we're, I'm trying to aim for next Friday. So my quarantine expires Friday at noon. So I have told them that I want to schedule for afternoon. They can't confirm exact timing, but I have that day secured. So oh, I'm so excited. I can finally um, get all my stuff and finally actually settle down and start decorating the place because until I have all my stuff sorted, I tend to like forget uh, what I have. I tend to overbuy stuff that I shouldn't. So let's learn from the past, grow up, 
live minimal and uh, not to try to spend money. My mom would be so proud to hear me say this. Anyhow, speaking of the app, basically I've been getting crazy amount of calls every day from MOM, Ministry of uh, Manpower, and Ministry of Health, I don't even know which one, to check on my address, my like, like status kind of thing. But apparently you should be expecting calls in quarantine anyway, so. I mean, that's life. Just uh, life updates. Wanted to keep you guys updated on my quarantine status. I am very grateful to be in such a large space. So I don't feel confined. Being at home, I have a balcony. I don't really go out at all. I've been out like twice because it's just so hot. But sometimes in the morning, early mornings, it's very cool air. So I open the windows and uh, just step out for a bit breathe fresh air i will be seeing you guys over the weekend so ciao